Hello, it's me again. I would like to show you a grab of the chat that I found for a long time. And this is about microplastics. Have you have ever seen the a, a native, I mean, not native, but local film that is made in 2019 from uh, one of the PS15 uh, in Brooklyn's uh, elementary school that they make a film about microplastic madness. If you haven't watched that movie, go ahead and watch it because I got inspired from that microplastic madness film after that. I start to seek for all the clothes that I wear because there are kids, it's actually in the films telling us uh, basically every low of clothes that you go to bring it into machine to wash, it creates 17 pounds of microplastics. And that microplastic is affecting a lot of um, marine life that is their lives is like also hurting planktons because like we need about like 30 to 37 trillion plankton in order to balance the whole planet. Uh, that is like amazingly matched the amount of cells that we actually have it in our body. So amazingly, I start to look at all the clothes I wear, including those yoga pants, because I, I then I realized that yoga pants is always I make out microplastic, microfiber, with we need loans like spandex, right? Those are really popular type of material that were used in the, in yoga pants and yoga clothing. So I stopped wearing all these clothes because it create microplastics and I don't want to toxic our ocean anymore for any longer. So I switched for two years. Um, since 2019, because now it's 2021. So I switched my clothing uh, to all the natural plant or animal, like wolf, fur. Then I got, I got it before, not now. Um, like I, 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 see, I, I go through all my clothes and I realized that a lot of my clothes are cotton. So I keep those cotton clothes uh, with me 100%. It has to be 100% without any plastic on it. So I, and silk that I got it, um, you know, like this is a wonderful chart that you can look at. Even though asbestos is mineral, but then it creates like those like dust that hurts the lungs so even though it's natural it's not recommended material for clothes then so these are really amazing chats that you can look at when you're shopping for clothes to make sure the material that you buy are, are natural and biodegradable otherwise those are semi synthetic that's a cigarette butt a synthetic so that's a cigarette butt material then you don't want that happen into our drinking water you don't want that to get into sewer and run into river lakes and then even it, it goes through the future with like microplastic and go back to the drinking uh, process you don't want that meal arts those are those are the fiber that you wanted to um notice that is actually part of the synthetic which means it's it's still part of microplastic it's not that biodegradable we have to know that glass is not biodegradable. Acrylics, you know, like those kind of like common polyester, those kind of common clothes that we are wearing is my, it create microplastics. Why am I concerning this so much? It's also because you can take a look at the, um, let me see if I can show you my tap. There are, there are a lot of uh, articles uh, for the past years has been increasing dramatically awareness to a lot of people. Uh, I'm going to share those links in the comments so you can click on to it about especially there was a really cool link that it took me like three to five days to finish reading about microplastics, which is like the tire, the driving tire that some of the people using is actually combined material with microplastic as well, which is create microplastic, even though on your way of your driving, if you, even though you don't want it or you don't notice it's happening. And so like these kind of article is, even though it took a long time for me to read, but then, um, but then it's actually, I learned a lot from it. So this is one of the article recently come out 
and I can also share under the under the titles. A kicking butt, New York Bill Provo bans future. Hopefully they're gonna ban the cigarettes soon. And that was uh, March 2nd of this year. Let's see. I'm gonna pick up some important point that they said in here. So an estimated 4.5 trillion butts end up as litter every year. That is like staggering 850,000 tons of cigarette litter, equivalent to surround around 30 times the weight of the state of liberty. And so you like other microplastic containers, uh, contaminants, cigarette filter fibers add to the increasing de degradation degradation of oceans as they become sinks of plastic refuse. Additionally, heavy metal, including cal cadmium and arsenic, are also associated with cigarette filter litter. These contaminants can accumulate in soil and also enter the food chain, posing yet another direct threat to public health. To make things worse, the plastic pollutant found in cigarette does not just sit on a beach front forever, it moves far and wide, and it has found it as far as the bottom of the deep sea. Over time, the cellulose acetic, which is the, you know, the material that make out of the uh, cigarette butt in cigarette filter leach out thousands of small synthetic fibers into their surrounding environment, polluting oceans, waterways. So you can imagine not just the cigarette filter, but also like the those like yoga clothes, right? The synthetic fibers, the yoga clothes or the clothes that everyone is wearing if it is not cotton, when you wash, it creates those microplastics and polluting the oceans. Even though the tire, the driving tire with the water or, 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 or you know, like rubbing on the surface of the pavement, that creates the microplastic if your tire is made out of synthetic fibers instead of just like, a, you know, um, a tree, you know, like the natural trees. Um, uh what do you call that i forgot but then you know what i'm talking about uh which instead of the natural material okay so the plastic contaminants is toxic to crystal crist crist crustaceans worms fish birds and other aquatic organisms putting multiple level of our ecology ecology at risk fibers has been found in the stomachs of seabirds and fish in uh in 2020 by the way they found it in the in the birth tubes of a woman uh when when she giving uh, deliver her birth to a baby so in 2020 there was the first time they found microplastic in in a woman like uh giving birth process indeed fish con consumptions offer a clear a first a clear examples of how the toxic can move through the food chain like other microplastic contaminants. Cigarette filter fiter, fibers add to the increasing degradation of oceans as they become sinks of plastic refuse. So you can read more about this and you notice more, um, more of it. And amazing enough, it, those incre increase of awareness is not just happening um, this year. This is another article I found. Oh, look, Sue, I, I went to the ad. Um, so in 2018, it said, it's saying like, which textile fiber caused microplastic pollution when washed? Here's what the study reveals so far. So like, this is another article that I strongly recommend everyone to read about it as you look at it, see the cotton, right? We talk about that, Jude. These are natural fiber. Uh, Ramia, there's a natural fiber. Silks, there's a natural fiber. And then, and also they talk about like the bamboo fiber, uh, those kind of like sustainable and eco-friendly fiber that they said, and that here's another article about it. And they, uh, when I read through the, uh, the other article is basically saying that it's like, even though those like fiber is, it, it was 
branded as like a man-made fabrics and and it's kind of like eco-friendly that make you feel less bad but then um the process of making is also very polluting because they have to soften the material like bamboo into like a really a silky or, or comfortable clothing material for you to wear it before you can you know before you can wear it they have to make it really comfortable to touch in a in a texture and they have to concern all these things and add toxic chemical maybe polluting our water by using it by making it so you can know more about it from um, the links in here and um, recycle PET bottles release microfiber as well so even though you are thinking like you're helping the environment maybe you you bought say something like edible um, saying that plastic is edible or it, it it can put it in the microwave bear in mind that it released microfiber which is microplastic it doesn't biodegradable and just notice that it takes about at least like 200 years to uh, 300 years 400 years to finally uh, disappear but then like you know that is like a couple of generations from now you want it to stop really right now to protect the future generations if you want them to have a better chance of survival well back to our survival so I'm gonna share this link uh, to you or under the comments and also like the the microplastic links that uh, teach me a lot about microplastics that I'm talking about in here and I hope you have a great day and Thank you for hearing this fast talk. <laughs>